must take them all out. What a catastrophe. The British Indies Company must not be very happy with how things are progressing. You could say that. That should keep them quiet for a while. Perhaps this is not the best time to bring up what I call you there They have another. I'm listening. It may sound mad. I propose we steal Koinor Diamond. A piece of the royal jewels? Whatever for? Her Majesty may wear it, but it doesn't belong to her. It was a trophy, symbolizing the colonization of India, and it deserves to be returned home. It would be an extremely delicate mission, but I know you'd be more than capable of such a feat. I have already procured some information pertaining to the location of the Koinor. Come and find me when you've had a moment to think it over. Now. Come on! Yeah! 
shop at my action. Get out I put my ear to the ground and found someone who may know the location of the Koinor diamond. Excellent. Heisen, my favorite. A man by the name of Cornelius Toti Button. Beer drinker. What? I can tell. He is apparently a friend of the Royal Jewel. How will we find him? He frequents a pub in the city of London Borough called The George. Sounds like the sort of man I know how to deal with. Don't be ridiculous. Fret not, dearest sister. I will take care of this one on my own. Come find me in Westminster when you have the information we need. This is in the old city. Not with the royal jeweler this evening. It's a shame to drink alone. Whatever it is you want from me, I'm not interested. What I am interested in is ordering another pint. I'll tell you what. If I can outdrink you, you I tell me where the famous Koinor diamond is located. <laughs> you think you can drink me under the table? That's a lot to wager on a losing battle. I'll take that as an accepted challenge then. Barkeep, two pints over here. Boy, my God, what happened last night? Well, I'll never make it back to the train in this state. I'll have to try to remember what happened. I know I was at a pub, but which one? <laughs> ah, you survived the night, I see. I wasn't sure what would become of you. You're back. I thought I'd seen the last of you when you sauntered off to that shooting competition. The name of the game is... Shoot the bottle? Precisely. Can you do it? Can you tell me where the diamond is? You have to beat me at this first. Put this nicely. You're awful. Are you drunk or something?
You're a good shot. Better than I ever would have guessed. We're done with this pub, but not done for the night. On to the bricklayer's arms with you, Johnny boy. Follow me. It's Jacob. Who did what? Never mind, Cornelius. Just tell me where the diamond is. Someone spilled it. Some bastard spilled my beer. Listen. I am beer. Fine. I'll find the fool that did this. That's a relief. someone can do if you ask me. You have to have one ugly personality to do that, you do. The pettiest thing someone can do if you ask me. You have to have one ugly personality to do that, you do. I was talking to that yarn spinning oath, Dickens, when I turned back to my drink, and it's all over the place. I bet you good money those evil blighters did this. You think I spilled my own beer? Ludicrous! Wait, well, maybe I did. There he is! Get back! Don't bite me like a real man! Slits and fists! You want me to kick your ass? You'll be singing a different tune in the dark, won't you? Give him a good claim! Oh, 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 bloody oh, shit! Oh. We better get out of here before they start asking for more. Well, that was a bit frightening, now, wasn't it? Uh, I think I'm gonna be sick. None of that now. Come, let's get you home. I don't think I can stand. You must be joking. to have a friend to join me. Oh, Let's make him sorry for poking our nose in the wrong place. Every night. Are you still talking? I think I overdid it tonight. Oh well, I'll sleep it off. Watch yourself. Never you forget it. 
Good night, then. Julia! But wait! At least I know where to find him. Where is that button fool? How did you get up here? I walked you home. Jacob? Finally! Now tell me, where is the bloody diamond? Does this technically count as winning? All right, all right. It's in the Tower of London. Surprise! It's being held there until tonight's gala finishes, and then it will be shipped back to the royal jeweler for another cutting. Many thanks, buttons. Now hold on right...
You look terrible. And you're late? Me? Never. I was simply retrieving the information you sent me to get. It was easy, really. Something about an event happening tonight at the Tower of London. The gala? I will be attending. You're our inn, then. You can't just barge in and steal the crown jewels. She's right. We need a plan. Oh, bother. Jacob, you can escort Mr. Singh to tonight's event. This will give you a chance to slip away from the party and find the koh i -Noor. I'll take care of the guards around the perimeter. Meet me at the top of the White Tower. Good! Another chance to wear the suit. No weapons allowed. Where's the fun in that? I should find Sing. The jewels are being held upstairs, but be careful. If this isn't one of the most heavily guarded places, then I'm a true Englishman. I may need your help to distract these guards. Just give me the signal. I should send a signal to sing to distract the guards. Don't. No I've never been life. upstairs. Do tell me what it's like. This is outright uncouth. We live in a civilized society, you know. I shouldn't have to remind you of that. Trying to start something. That's not lawful, my friend. You must come quick. Uh, Madam Butterworth has fainted. Butterworth has fainted. The diamond is on the second floor. It's awfully quiet up here. Guards asleep. I wonder what's inside that crate. Someone got here before I did. Well, if the diamond's not here, I've got to find it before it leaves the building. 
if it hasn't already. This plan was genius. We'll get him this time. Friends with the Queen? Ha! She won't be friends with him when she finds the diamond is in his pocket. He'll never see it coming. Once he tries to walk out that door, he'll kiss his royal title goodbye. And henceforth be known as prisoner scene. They planted the diamond on the leap? Not good. Is as charming as you are, Mr. Singh. No, <laughs> you flatter me, ma'am. Now, do tell me, how do you two know each other? Oh, we met at the missionary compound in Fatigar. The Loggins were quite fond of the Ellsworths. Uh, Mr. Singh and I were quite close, your ladyship. It was a lonely time on foreign soil for me. I was more than happy to have a friend. I'm sure. And now the company has sent you here on urgent business. Hmm, I wish I could disclose oh, the information, well, your ladyship. But alas, I cannot. I'm sure you will lunch. learn of it soon well, enough. <laughs> what the judge? Better have a look. You're not allowed in here! No sign of it. Now to find my sister. The place is crawling with Templars. I've got to secure the perimeter.
What took you so long? Bit of a mishap. Here it is. What happened? Somebody stole it first. The safe had been robbed by the time I got there. The British Indies Company will stop at nothing. There was a plan to frame Singh. I lifted it from him before the Royal Guards found it. Imagine the look on Her Majesty's face if... They must know by now that their plan was foiled. You're welcome. I think it's time to depart. I need to find a way out of here. Did you get it to your sister? Just barely. What do you mean? I'll tell you about it another time. You encountered some trouble? We can't speak of this here. The British Indies Company is up to no good again. Outside, then. You, sir! Halt for inspection! <laughs> I beg your pardon? Search him! Nothing. The Corinora isn't here. But of course there's nothing. What do you take me for? Some sort of criminal? I got one cannon. The captain said he was glad to be rid of me. <laughs> commotion about, Mr. Singh? I do believe they thought I was trying to pinch the Koh-i-Noor, your ladyship. Ha! Huh? The Koh-i-Noor? Who on earth would want to steal that potato? Good night, your highness. We barely got out of there in one piece. The British Indies Company tried to plant the diamond on you and frame you for stealing it. <laughs> Luckily, I was there just in the nick of time. We need to meet back at Mr. Green's shop. I must see the diamond with my own two eyes.
The Koi Noor, if I may. Glass? The real Koi Noor never left India. Had I known you planned to reclaim it, I would have stopped you. My father ensured it never fell into Templar hands. Your father? He has done a great service to me and my people. My words to you earlier were unfair. You were not wrong. I too have grown frustrated with my lack of progress. Shall we let bygones be bygones? We need to find out who's behind all of this and why the Templars and the British Indies companies have joined forces. What we should do is track them down and destroy their headquarters. Jacob. That may not be such a terrible idea, Mr. Fry. I spoke with Mr. Green, and we have discovered the location of the British Indies' secret headquarters. You are to meet him, and he will give you the details. There is a foundry nearby where the Templars and BIC members have been meeting on a regular basis. Mr. Green waits for you there. But we still don't understand why they tried to frame you. We don't, but Mr. Green seemed to think that they're using the factory to develop something. It's a good place to start digging. Good luck.
You made it. You found the British Indies Company hideout? They've taken over an abandoned foundry. It's heavily fortified, and word has it, they're shipping something precious overseas. My gut tells me that something precious is something bad. My thoughts exactly. Go find out what they're protecting and destroy it. Maybe you'll discover why they're after Mr. Singh. So this is where they've been keeping that sleeping gas. They can't leave London. They're shipping this to India? No. What do they want this for? War? I must destroy them.
Problem. Yes, go fetch the manager. Is that Ellsworth? I'd better get a closer look. Destroyed? How? There's someone in the vicinity! A spy! One of those rocks, I wager! Ah, it must be those damned renegades Sing is friends with. Who knew one caged bird could cause so much trouble? You're caught, Ellsworth. Give up. I knew you had something to do with this. Seize him! Must tell Sing of this news immediately. Stop it right 
What did you find out? Who's behind all of this? You are not gonna like what I have to tell you, Your Highness. Brinley Ellsworth is behind the attacks. Ellsworth? He was gone before I had a chance to follow him. But we need to track him down and put an end to this before anything worse happens. I need some time to think on this. And a letter. For me? Thank you. 